What's up YouTube? Chester Outdoors here. Today I'm out at the Sebastian Inlet State Park. Keep tossing around this lure here for a little bit. It's missing quite a bit of paint, so who knows if that'll affect it or not. But just trying to see what fish I can catch today. And hopefully I can manage to scrounge a video out of this camera because I've only got one GoPro camera or battery today. See what happens. Fish on! Got me some dinner. Certainly not the biggest Spanish mackerel I've ever caught, but it'll certainly do. Dinner. All right, we're back out here at Sebastian Pier. It's in the evening now. Earlier, I was out here good and early in the morning. Caught that small Spanish mackerel I showed you guys earlier. I'm gonna do a catching cup with that. Probably gonna make some fish tacos and some salsa. Let's see if I can grab another one or something else to put with this because. Uh, wasn't quite big enough for two people it'll do but I'd really have rather have a little bit more fish so stay tuned and see what we can catch somebody's got a big fish on them. Big red fish. Need help? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a good one. That is one huge redfish. I didn't catch a huge one. That's the one. Wow. <laughs> That is one huge bull red fish. That is too cool. Yeah. Looks like we got a, somebody else catching one over here too. Probably got the same thing. There's somebody else over here too. This pier is on fire and I need some live shrimp. See you guys in the kitchen. Alright. Back in the kitchen guys. And I'm going to be playing this here Spanish mackerel. Hopefully I can keep these bready dogs out of here. You want to see a real happy dog? Ooh, she gets the fish head. She's real itchy. The oils in that they're fish will help her not be so itchy. Even though it'll make her breath stink for a little while. 
Don't you swallow that hole. You better chew it up. There you go. Mmm. That's good stuff, huh? <laughs> that makes for one happy June bug. Alright, to go with our uh, couple of fish tacos we're going to have, probably each going to only have one, we're going to make some corn salsa. We're going to have that with some chips to add to our meal. Start off, one whole can of corn. Alright, next, going to chop up some tomatoes. Next, gotta add some cilantro. Don't really know how much. It's gonna kinda go with about that much. Yeah. That'll do right there. I need some salt in here. Go. About that much. Garlic. That ought to do. I feel like we're forgetting something. Oh yeah, black beans. Whole thing of beans. Sauce is done. Looks pretty tasty. She's the first one to try it. Have good flavor. Needs what is more it? dressing. More dressing? What about salt? No. Fine on salt or more? No more. Alright, needs a couple things. Get a little bit more salt. No, no. What? Chicken out. Some more dressing. It's got Italian dressing in the salsa. Other than that, it's Roma tomatoes, half of a sweet onion, one jalapeno, one can of black beans, one can of uh, sweet corn, whole kernel, whole kernel sweet corn, some salt, and black eyed peas. All right, now I'm going to try it, see what this is all about. That is awesome. That is definitely going on my taco. All right, now to cook some fish. Like that, we're gonna turn that a little lower. Get out a spoon. We're gonna cook this with some coconut oil because we are trying to be healthier. And this is much healthier than using butter or olive oil. So, let's go with some coconut oil. Some good. Hopefully that vent fan is real quiet in the microwave, but I don't want everything to reek like fish in here. Alright, so we're going to do some salt, some Everglades fish and chicken. This stuff is amazing. Every time I cook something for somebody, some fish, a burger, even a steak, some chicken, and I put this stuff on there, oh man. Everybody's always happy about this stuff coming out. Put a little bit of pepper on there too. Can't go wrong with some black pepper. 
that's going to cook pretty fast because there's not very much of it. I'm going to have some whole grain rice in this area as well. Tear that open. Pop it in the microwave. I know that's not the right way to do rice, but you know what? It's good. So that's the way I'm doing it. Build some tacos. Gonna get our lettuce out of here, maybe. If the packaging will allow it to come out, this is a pain in the butt. All right. Yeah, that's like perfect for making a taco. That one's small, small. Small man, that'll do. What's a good taco without sour cream? That would just not be right. Some spoonfuls of salsa in here. Awesome looking fish taco and some salsa, some long grain wild rice on lettuce to try to help us maybe be a little bit healthier. Maybe the chips and salsa, chips part, not so healthy. Always getting phone calls. All right, well, let's see if this is any good. Tell you what, a taco is just not the same with lettuce. But overall, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Hope she agrees. Yeah, but she don't like me pointing the camera at her. No, I'm eating. Oh well. I'm just showing it how it is. We eat. We're real people. Whatever. Oh, As some of you can tell. I have a very small kitchen. We live full time in our fifth wheel camper. We've got a 2000. <coughs> excuse me. We've got a 2010 Keystone Montana, 38 foot with three slide outs. We live in it with that little guy right here. Down in South Florida at the moment. Until we head back up to Ohio in April. We're probably the youngest snowbirds on YouTube. <laughs> We're, uh, you know, 24 years old and avoiding the cold weather and the snow down here in Florida. Lucky me, my job allows for that to, you know, that kind of thing to work for us. So, yeah, this is a little piece of our life, and I'm going to keep making more videos like this. I'm probably going to go catch some more Spanish mackerel tomorrow morning. If I do, you guys will probably see a video on it. Thanks for watching. If you like it, leave me a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe for more content in the future, and uh, hope your day was as good as mine. Got to hang out with my beautiful wife. Hey, my awesome son. 
Yeah, I guess he's going to add some commentary too. Have a good day and thanks for watching.